10 years old, I started doing decoupage. And my mom gave me this little closet that was uh, halfway through the, the top of the stairway. And she let me turn that into my decoupage room. So it was pretty stuffy in the summer in Chicago, in uh, Hinsdale, Illinois. And it was um, hot and sometimes I couldn't get the window open, but I would, I would be in there decoupaging till like two in the morning. I would just paint and paint and then I'd have ideas of what I wanted to create and go get the supplies in, in town. And it was very, very fun. It was my own little world. I started uh, doing abstract painting when I was 26. My father was a portrait painter, so I didn't really consider myself an artist because in my mind, an artist was somebody who did, could do portraits. And when I was 26, I started studying really great abstract artists and realizing that's what really called to me. And I started doing abstracts in Santa Fe. And um, eventually this has evolved into mixed media. And it's kind of bringing together my childhood, uh, decoupaging with abstract. And I can tell so many more layers of stories with like the old pictures I collect and things out of encyclopedias and dictionaries and old books and stuff. Um, and then collage them all together and create a lot of depth and story and history um, all together with, with my abstracts. He liked my work. Um, he passed away in 1995, but um, he liked my work. He, he, I think he liked the energy of it. It wasn't, in his mind, I don't think it was really art, but I didn't really care what he thought <laughs> because I was having fun and I was expressing what came from my heart. So I was pretty happy with it, my, but um, I think in my father's mind, traditional painting, landscapes, portraits, uh, real, realism and figurative painting was, was more art. This series called The Sun could also be called Choosing Happiness. In my mind, it's, it's really about choosing happiness. And the sun for me represents so many things. It's um, the source of life. Um, it's the light, it's, it's the energy that, that gives all of creation its ability on, on the earth, all of its ability to thrive. So um, I think we get so bogged down in our lives that we really feel like, you know, life is hard and there's a lot of darkness and there's a lot of things that happen to us that are hard that kind of beat us down. But for me, the sun, focusing on the sun is about remembering who we are as infinite beings, that we are that powerful infinite light and ability to completely live our full capacities and whatever the sun can do in terms of creating reality, we can do that in our lives. I had a, an art teacher in Santa Fe, um, maybe in 1989 or something, um, that really taught me to trust my whatever was coming out of me and to validate it and to not judge it and that I think really affected everything I created after that because I never doubted what was coming out I didn't need to know the meaning I just needed to express it and let it let it flow and then later on I'd look at paintings and have them on the wall and and I'd see so much more coming out later thinking I never would have known that I was going to create that but from then on I was just completely trusting whatever's coming out of me has a lot of meaning and spirituality to it and I don't need to know in that moment. It's very interesting to me how many people pride themselves on their unhappiness. It's almost like a validation that they're a deep person or they are in this reality and it's very realistic and um, life is hard and then you die kind of thing. And I realized uh, before doing this series that um, I have been ashamed and kind of hiding my happiness and realizing that I'm really a happy person and I don't need to worry about people judging me or criticizing me or um, thinking, oh, you're not grounded in reality. When I was 22, I had Hodgkin's disease and I went through six weeks of radiation. And when I was 24, I had it again and I went through a year of chemo. And when I was 26, I had it again, but I'd been learning about how you create your reality and you can uncreate the reality you don't want. Um, and I healed myself. So in this, all of the struggles that I've had through my life, you know, not just that, um, I've really learned that I get to choose if I'm gonna be unhappy or if I'm gonna be happy. 
and everyone has that choice every minute of every day. So in my, in my rays of, of sunlight that are coming out, there's pieces of maps and there's pieces of um, patterns and um, old pictures of people from encyclopedias and um, the history of all that all that's existed in all of time and space. It's all thriving through the sun and it's all valid. I really, I'm really proud of this series. I'm really happy with myself. I'm really happy with um, that step of <clears throat> not judging myself, really letting myself be myself and letting everyone see it and not care what anyone thinks. And if anyone judges me or invalidates it because it's too happy, it's too colorful, it's too whatever, it's like, bring it on, I don't care. <laughs> I have so many books and so many, um, so many different kinds of paper that I've been collecting for years and years and years. So it's, I kind of have, you know, this kind of paper is over here, that kind of paper is over there, these books are over there. And then as I'm going, it's like I just go through and call the things that call to me. And I don't know why they're going to call to me, but I cut them and I cut them and I, I spent one month just cutting paper. And so then out of that pool, then everything starts taking shape like that goes with that and that goes with that because there's a it's I don't think it's a conscious understanding of how they relate to each other it's more of a, of a subconscious just flow of they belong with each other and then later through time I can see oh I get it I see why what feeling that one is I didn't know I was going to do 20 paintings of the sun I knew that I was I, I knew that the theme was the sun um, I started with one that I did last year and it really called to me and it really pulled me in and I have it in my living room and um, it just, it's like it just keeps vibrating and, and you know people are like oh I love that I want to buy that it's like sorry this one's staying here you know it just it feeds us in a way and um, so I knew that there was something there so I knew I was going to do some suns but I thought it was going to branch into other things too and then when I started doing it it was like each one had had a completely different story to each one and a different flavor and a different tone and it was like oh okay I get it this is really about about a strong message of you know focusing on the sun focusing on the light you know, honoring and appreciating what gives us all life and the quality of everything in existence. My, a friend of mine, Christina Anderson, is an artist who also shows here, and I was in a gallery, in D Gallery in uh, Lake Arrowhead, and we were both showing there, and I met her that way. And so uh, last year, she said, you know, Matarango is going to have an open call for, for artists for next year. You know, you definitely should submit. and. She had to remind me many times. She's like, did you do it yet? Did you do it yet? Because it's like you have to have confidence to go, okay, I deserve a solo show in a museum. And so finally I'm like, I'm not going to let her down. I said I would do it, so I'm going to do it, and I did it. And then when I got the call, um, I was just overjoyed to be chosen. It's, this is a really cool place. And until I spent more time here this weekend, I didn't realize how many amazing artists are here in Ridgecrest um, and part of the museum and the people are so nice and there's so many cool things going on here. Um, last time we visited it just seemed like you know just out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> this desert place but there is a lot of life happening and there's a lot of creation happening here and a lot of really really cool people so I'm, I feel really blessed to be here. So at first, when I started creating them, it was like there was, it, it, they were almost complicated and there, there was so much there and it was, you know, kind of overwhelming. And as I evolved from painting to painting, I started uh, simplifying. It started getting simpler and simpler. It's like the same energy and power of what I was expressing didn't need so much kind of drama in it. It, it, the, in the simplicity, it still had the same amount of message and power to it. So that was very interesting for me to see that, because I was thinking, oh, I'll just keep adding more and more and more and more um, to make it better and to make it more specific to what I was saying. 
and I found that I needed less and less and less through each painting. So in, in doing a series of 20, um, and, and at this scale, I've never done anything um, this size and, and this big. I've done a series of 50, but they were all smaller. Um, to find out that they get simplified was really interesting. What's underlying almost all of them is a question. And um, before, when I got Hodgkin's disease, what created that was a lot of judgments and conclusions that I'd come to in my life of what I could and couldn't do. And in, in those judgments, I was cutting off my life until I actually almost killed myself or, you know, found a way for me to die through cancer. Um, and since then, I've learned to be in the question. I've learned that judgment kills life, and being in the question is what gives you connection to infinite possibility. So now I wake up every morning and I ask, how does it get any better than this? What else is possible? How did I get so lucky? What new change is possible for me now? Um, who am I today and what grand and glorious adventure will I have and receive? And I start opening up and receiving energy, which was completely different than who I was before. I, I wanted to learn anything, everything and know everything so that I could control life, so I could be safe, so I could be successful, so I could figure it all out and, and, and win, basically. Um, and I didn't know that's what was actually killing me. And so in opening myself up and finding out more and being in a more of a receptive mode to everything, to infinite possibility, to um, really being free to be myself, no matter what anyone else thought of me, no matter what my family members thought of me or friends or um, people at work, it was like the more I started being more and more of myself, the more alive I became, the healthier my cells became, the healthier my body became, the happier I became. So in these, in these, it's like doing a whole series on the sun, in a way my judgment was coming in of like, wow, that's really boring, you know, you can't do 20 suns, it's gonna blah. And yet in being the question and just having each painting receiving like different energies by asking different questions, um, it was, it was beyond anything I thought was gonna come out of them. And it really, I think that openness and that, that receptivity is what, like each painting going into someone else's life is gonna open them up to even more good things coming that they've always wanted or they've been going for and, the, and have seemed like they, they can't come in. I think this, the energy of these paintings is gonna like, open up doors, open up new possibilities and new ways of thinking that enhance people's lives. Mm -hmm.